How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Although we're not actually playing Forza Horizon 4 today, we're just going to have some gameplay in the background while we talk about the main topic of this video, which is going to be the next Forza title. I've done a couple of videos on this in the past talking about what I expect for the future of Forza, not just Forza Horizon 4, but Forza in general. And recently there's been the odd kind of thing happening which is quite interesting, so I'm going to talk about it in today's video, talk about when I think we'll see the main reveal for the next Forza game, the main concept of it, which I think is very soon, and talk about some big differences that we could, we could be seeing. I'm just going to put everything real short, real quick, so what I'm going to say for in this video actually makes sense. As some of you will know, Forza Motorsport 7 has had the full Turn 10 team working on it for a while now, meaning that the next Forza game, I'm just going to say Forza Motorsport 8, Eight, is hasn't actually been in development at all nothing whatsoever it was only recently I think a few weeks ago or a month or so ago that turn 10 did announce that they are finally thinking about this next Forza title they're kind of leaving Forza Motorsport 7 behind Forza Motorsport 7 is still going to get updates, but you know what I mean, the team is moving towards the next title. I think some of the reasons why they've left this game an extra year is one, to try out what Forza Motorsport 7 would be like with the full force team behind it, updating it regularly instead of just bringing out a next game next year. And two, to leave time for the next gen console to come out so they can build this next Forza game on the newest console which will have a lot more power to make the game a lot better. But as I said, it was only a few months ago that they're saying that they're finally working on this next Forza game. And they've also said that they are going to build this next Forza game with us. This is all stuff I've talked about before, but I'm just kind of getting the basics there. But as they build this next Forza game, they kind of come up with the ideas, the big ideas, the concepts. They're going to tell us, they're going to show us, get our opinions and build the game with us. Now just over a week ago there was a Forza monthly live stream where they had three people all talking about the, the concept phase of the next Forza game. And I noticed something, I noticed that, I mean I get we're in the concept phase and it's very early on but I would have thought if the game is going to be called Forza Mode Sport 8, I would have thought they would, you know, at least mention it. Not once has any Turn 10 person or anything in any live stream talking about the next Forza game, not once have they said, yeah, this is what we're going to do with Forza Motorsport 8, we're going to build it with you and whatever. Which makes me think, and I've seen a couple of other YouTubers think this as well, that this next Forza game that we could see revealed very soon, which I'll mention in a minute, possibly won't even be called Forza Motorsport 8. It could just be called Forza Motorsport, or maybe even just Forza. Forza project, something weird and funny like that. And I think that this is going to be a game which they are going to continuously update over and over again for a long time. Now there's been a few leaks and information going around that we may actually see the first kind of, I'm not going to say reveal, but the main ideas for the next Forza Motorsports at E3, which is only in a couple of weeks time. This is also when I believe the second expansion for Horizon 4 will be revealed. I think it's entirely possible that this next Forza title is going to be completely different from every other. The differences between Forza Mode Sport 4 and Forza Mode Sport 7, there's not a massive amount. It's still kind of you get in the game, you have the auction house type of thing, you have the cars and the tracks, there's no real big differences. But comparing Horizon 1 to Horizon 4, there's quite a few differences with how the game works and everything, and I get there is in motorsport as well, but I feel like motorsport are getting to the point where they're really kind of struggling to come up with brand new games and new stuff, which is why they're doing it with us as a community, so we can suggest some very different things. Is it possible that this next Forza game, because it won't be called Forza Motorsport 8, possibly, could it be an open world motorsport? The beauty about this is they could have it in mind to do an open world kind of motorsport game where it's an open world game, you drive to the tracks and you still race around on these tracks like normal but also in an open kind of world as well. And the beauty about building this game with us is if we don't like the idea of something we can say it and they won't do it. There's something I actually want to show you here that someone called JSR Devon actually posted on Twitter. 
some quite interesting statistics about Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon. Here's a chart of how much Forza Horizon 4 is searched and how much Forza Motorsport 7 is searched. The difference is absolutely unbelievable. Forza Motorsport 7, you can't even see the line on there of how many times it gets searched compared to the red one, which is Forza Horizon 4. And this one here, you can see the amount of times that Forza Motorsport 4 was um, searched compared to Motorsport 7. It's just motorsport seems to be dying a little bit. He also showed that Project Cars 2 and Gran Turismo Sport, they are searched way more than Motorsport 7. And the point I'm trying to get across is I think Turn 10 know this and I think that's why they're changing things up now and possibly making a massive different change to their next motorsport game to make it very different than usual. That's just another reason I think that this next game is going to be very different and very big. I've always believed that Forza Motorsport used to be quite arcadey in a way but it's eventually turned into somewhat of a, sim a simulation game. I think it's also possible that this next Forza Motorsport title they could focus heavily on making it a pure sim game like Gran Turismo. I've never played GT Sport but I know it's definitely a very sim heavily focused game. Obviously whatever Turn 10 decide to do they're going to mention it with us. Something that I would absolutely love but I don't know if it's going to happen is if Playground Games and Turn 10 work together and made their own game which is both a sim game with tracks and an open world game like Horizon but all in one game. That would be brilliant. Although I'll say it now, I really don't think we'll get a, uh, a Playground Games and Turn 10 made game. The most I think we'll ever get is an open world motorsport of some sort, with a slight open world aspect to it, not fully like Horizon. As mentioned, it's recently been kind of leaked that in it could only be a couple of weeks time in, until we hear the first main big information about this next Forza game at E3. And what confuses me is, I don't know what they're really going to have to say. What are they going to say at a massive event like E3 about a game that's still in concept phase? That's what's making me think they're going to come out of the blue and do something really surprising and say we're making an open world motorsport sim game. Do you know what I mean? I think the only way to make it very interesting is if there's something about this next Forza title that is very eye catching and I think we could see that. And I know, I know a lot of people are probably excited that it might be revealed soon and lots of people are excited that they're building it with a community, but how many of you are actually going to get involved? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm urging everyone who's watching this video, let's all get involved. Let's actually make the most of them wanting the community involved with this next Forza title. Let's have a look at this reveal in a couple of weeks and let's tell them what we think. Let's tell them what we want instead of just sitting back and waiting for someone else in the community to do it for us. We have to do it. I'd like to sort of relate this next point to Fortnite and stuff like that. I don't play Fortnite, but I know that every now and then they bring out a new season, season one, season two, season three, and stuff like that, where they remove and add and change a ton of stuff to make the game completely different, but it's still being the same game. I think they're going to try and do this with the next Forza. Black Ops 4 do that as well. They add and remove tons of stuff in updates to make the game seem completely different. It would be a pretty good idea for Turn 10 to follow in these footsteps. Just imagine it. The game could just be called Forza. It could have a little open world aspect to it. You could have to drive to the tracks and every now and then we'll get a big season update where, I don't know, the weather will change, new track will be added, some of the roads will change. I would like to say as much as an open world motorsport would be pretty damn cool, I think the chances are kind of low but I mean you never really know really, they can do what they want, they're not entitled to keep it a track only game. I completely agree with you if you say that this video has been all over the place kind of talking about random things and a bit weird but I don't know I was thinking about it this morning and I was like I really want to talk about this and kind of see what's going on, you know, tell you that something might be happening that's quite interesting and we may find out in a couple of weeks what that interesting thing might be. I might be completely wrong but I think with some things I'll be right such as the next game not being called Motorsport 8. I'm not going to leave this video going on too long because you've got the Loot Crate unboxing to watch in a minute which is pretty cool. 
But honestly, guys, get excited because the next motorsport seems like it's going to be very different to usual and we're going to hear about it in the next couple of weeks. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'll be interested to know. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later. Okay guys, it's time to quickly have a look at this month's Loot Crate unboxing. I've already popped the seal, so there's no faffing about, but here we go. Oh, hang on a minute, we've got some boxes in here today. So obviously to start off with, we'll start off with the shirt, because that's a very basic one. I can already see that says Fallout, that's right up my street. There's the shirt, oh that's a cool one. What else have we got? Let's start with this little box here, we have a... Oh, it's a playing card deck. That's what it says on it. It says Super Fight the Loot Crate deck. We'll open that now and have a look inside. Seems like this was exclusively exclusively made for this crate as well. So, ooh. This is really weird. I mean, I'm not sure I'm going to show this on camera, but they've all got really weird things on. Armed with a piranha launcher. What else have we got? Oh, that's heavy. What is that? It must be a bottle. Yes, a glass, a glass water bottle. That's cool. Let's have a look at that. There's no seal. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's wrapped up and everything. That's nice quality, that is. That's Sonic, I presume. That's definitely Sonic. Who else would it be? What else have we got in here now? Seems like, oh, there's loads of these. We've got some Mega Man pins by the looks of it. Let's quickly open that up. Very good quality. They feel like they're metal. So I quite like the feel of those. And then some more pins, which are... Player one and player two, if that makes sense. Focus, there we go. Now, I actually don't mind this crate because quite a few crates are kind of clothes based. You'd maybe get a shirt, a bag and a hat. But for this, you've got a shirt, you've got a bottle, um, a, a, a game, a video card, video card deck. You know what I mean? And then a load of collectible pins. And I kind of like collecting stuff, to be honest. Okay, now that is cool. You can turn the box inside out and get this little whatever that thing is that's pretty cool that's gonna look better than a loot crate box so yeah if you like surprises every month then check out the link in the description www.lootcrate.com slash jkxvx and you can use the code jkxvx for five percent off and you will get a crate like this every month to your door full of surprises you have no idea what's going to be in the box each month so it's pretty cool